Well, looky what I found. This video is going to be a little bit different than the ones that I've been doing uh, on fishing reels, vintage fishing reels and vintage fishing and about a vintage tackle box full of stuff that I found. Now, this happens to be the first vintage tackle box full of stuff that I've ever purchased. Primarily because when somebody has a tackle box full of lures, regardless of how good the lures are, they think they've got a gold mine. And uh, it's usually way more than I want to pay, and I'm not a big-time lure collector. Uh, just n never got into that like I did uh, fishing reels and that kind of thing. So, um, but I do have some old lures, ones that are meaningful in terms of those that used to belong to my dad, who got them probably from his dad, and I've got some that were given to me by the last surviving member of the Bird Antarctic Expeditions. Uh, but this, this tackle box came up, and uh, I noticed it's an Umco. And the the little badge with the model number on it here is missing, but this ends up being an Umco 1000A. And I'm not sure the exact date of it, but I think these aluminum Umcos, uh, you know, went anywhere from the, well, the late the 60s and 70s, I think. This, this might date, too. Um, but, uh, again, usually these are pricey. And uh, if they have contents in them, then they get even more pricey. But I saw this, and the box was closed, and the tag on it said $15 for tackle box and contents, or full tackle box or something. Loaded tackle box, I think is what it said. And I'm like, good God. And I might not have, I still might not have bought it. But <clears throat> when I opened it up... And I looked down in the bottom, I saw this old Bronson Savage 910. And uh, I've been wanting to get one of those because I kind of collect Bronson second to only to Zebcos. And uh, I didn't have a 910 yet, and I still don't have all the colors. But uh, I've been looking for one of these. And I thought, well, man, today I might pay $15 just for the reel, but... I'll take I'll, I'll take the whole box and the reel for fifteen. I do have the uh, I do have a uh, actual uh, paperwork with one of these. Now uh, I'm just now noticing that there's been a repair to the foot, so it's not uh, it's not completely uh, pristine, but uh, still still something that I. I would I, I want so at any rate uh, as you can see I think I've got most of it in the picture here uh, it's full of uh, goodies and some fairly old lure so I thought some of you might like to just go through this with me and see what's in there and then uh, and then maybe you can tell me what some of these lures are and whether or any I doubt if any of them have any large value but uh, neat little boxes in here somebody used an old uh, rosary box that has some uh, a cricket and a spider in there for some surface action and uh, I don't know what this container was for uh, key lux 2 bit tube I don't know what that maybe I don't know what that would have been for but they've got some little split shots in there uh, a container full of miscellaneous parts, some weedless hooks and uh, swivels and and a, and a spinner blade and a bunch more of that in here. Um, what do we got here? Uh, some old split shots, a bag of old split shots, uh, real lead ones. Uh, some damage to the pl plastic up here. Um, there's some worm burns and so on, but overall the plastic's not too bad other than a few worm burns. The plastic tray. Here's some, uh, some streamers, I guess, or flies. And, uh, and a little box there. 
<clears throat> and then we'll open up this side here and take a look at some of the lures many of them are wood so that gives them some age I suppose I believe this one uh, is a uh, I think it's Helen brand flatfish and it looks like it says uh, maybe s3 on there so it's got some paint peeling off and some cracking so that probably affects its value but I kind of like them uh, farm fresh like that was showing some age <clears throat> here's another one this one looks like it's plastic but it's got the two little spinners there which is kind of cool I don't know who makes that one I haven't been find, been able to find one just like that that has the spinner blades on them <clears throat> so if you know uh, that would be awesome find out what they are this one I'm guessing is also wood it's got some cracking to the the paint but I think it's also that one on Helen or whatever flatfish it's got a number but looks like the letter it might be also s3 maybe that indicates the size probably is a size indicator <clears throat> there's another wood plug um, seems like I should know what brand this is but it, it's, it's escaping me right now it's got some uh, some paint damage uh, probably worm melding on there or something uh, this one's called a uh, floater again might be the same brand but I just can't remember right now but if you know let me know if you if you care to or have time this one looks relatively new uh, it doesn't rattle so I don't it's, it might be a rattle trap but I don't rattle it says uh, what's that say in there a spot so it's got the word spot embossed on there oh here it is Cordell Cordell spot and then uh, assume this is hula popper brand this looks to be plastic I see a seam there uh, like the uh, skirt on that because this, this one uh, hasn't melted so it's some material that usually these darn things melt and then you have to buy new skirts all the time but uh, there's a nice hula popper and then a, a Rapala uh, what is this this is a Rapala made in Ireland and it's called a down deep just so a little paint peeling or at least the chrome parts peeling off on that one but good usable lure then we've got some red eyes again I think these are still made I have no idea how old these might be this is a red eye junior made in Rochester New York <clears throat> and then this other one I was looking online for red eyes and things and this is a color I didn't see much of uh, looking at image search this one again has some paint probably melted off by a worm but hooks are in great condition and the lure otherwise is in great condition and then a couple of these uh, gold hammered finish if you want to call it that uh, spoons um, I don't see any uh, manufacturers date on those or manufacturers name on those uh, looks like a maybe a true red devil here it says made in USA has an s on it but I don't see the red devil uh, logo on there so I don't know if it's a knockoff or the real thing and then here's one uh, this one looks like it's brass or something and uh, this is a daredevil Detroit or it says daredevil or daredevil I don't, is that how they spell daredevil Dar Devil A, 77 out of Detroit. And that's, uh, I don't know if the paint came off of that one or if it just needs, if it was just bare metal, it needs to be shined up. I'm guessing the paint came off, but. Uh, <clears throat> and this little thing here, I don't know what that is. Some kind of a worm spinner for a night crawler or something like that. And we got a nice. Uh, Meps Black Fury 5 with the uh, 
I assume that's rabbit fur or something there in good shape. Paint's coming off. It looked like it was black and gold. And moving to the other side, the smaller ears. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, we've got some interesting... Uh, I don't know if I can get that. We've got some interesting weights here. And sadly, sadly, I see some snagging baits. I'm not a big fan of snagging. This looks like a snagging hook. So does this. Not liking that. Bunch of old lead in here. Uh, remember these? These that you put on and bend over the tabs. Bunch of those. There's a three ounce weight there for maybe river fishing or something. <clears throat> the old Zeppelin shaped weights. And in terms of lures, let's see. This thing is really kind of neat. I have no idea. This is a uh, shimmy number five pretty good shape and then I, I, I used to know the name of these I can't remember it offhand but I don't see any makers name or anything it does appear to be wood and I suspect this one's got some age to it something bomber or something I can't remember but if you know and want to bother with it let me know um, what else we got in here I think this is a cast master. You know, based on the kind of lures that are in here, I'm thinking this guy probably fished with, uh, or fished a lot for, with all these flat fish and stuff, maybe pike and salmon and that kind of thing. This looks like a salmon lure. And speaking of salmon down here in the bottom, I mean, you've got some nasty, probably stanky, salmon eggs in there Shoshone fireball oil pack salmon eggs a product of Mer Meridian Idaho that was a dollar eighteen back at Geek and Son Corporation cheese flavored and we've got a nice popper here another light wood lure and uh what do we have? this looks like might be an ice fishing jig or something like that somebody's got a curly tail on there but looks like some kind of a jig and another spoon here this one's a uh is it a l and w uh I'm having a hard time reading all that writing there. Have to put it under the microscope. And uh, here's a jointed lure of some kind, plastic. What do we got here? Uh, L and S. O O M something, and then tiny writing. Mirror lure sinker mirror lure sinker and uh, another flat fish or maybe this one's a lazy ike I don't know no it looks like one of the Helen flat fish it's just got one set of hooks on it the, the double set towards the rear and then we've got uh, another I hope I'm getting these in the view or I'm going to be pissed because I'm looking at them and I'm not checking the camera. Uh, SPS or something on there. And this is a plastic one. It says F7. Also got that double hook. Like, like it's legs. 
and another assuming Helen flatfish yeah sure looks like it and another flatfish I liked flatfish no, this is a lazy Ike. Okay, here's a lazy Ike. It says lazy Ike right on the on the back of it still. So that one's in pretty good shape. All amazingly, none of the hooks are rusted. I mean the hooks look really nice on all of these. Uh, this one's jammed in there. This is probably a Helen brand again, an X5. An X5. And what is this thing? Another spoon. This one says, Oh Lord, I'm having a hard time. Fiscat or something like that. Shoehorn. Uh, a, L, and W, I think, again. And. Another one of these mirror type. What they? What was it called? A mirror, mirror lure or something like that. And another flatfish. This one's an F6. Looks to be in really good shape. And a bunch of lead and a very light casting plug. Not very heavy at all. And another spoon. This is called a Zorky. And then some old matches from sh sure fine quality foods I don't see matchbooks much anymore it's another sure fine for goodness sake a few of them left in there there's some uh, fly line cleaners I think this is an empty uh, partial package little box of hooks uh, this is kind of cool it's a uh, what does that say uh, what the heck is that name something tell okay tell or something like that it's a leader saber and it's still got the instructions in there They're brand new Another little box. What's that say on there? Ideal. Some kind of, I don't know what would have been in there, but it's empty now. But it's definitely a fishing container, tackle container of some sort. And down in the bottom here, one of the cool things, and this I think will clean up really nice, is, is a Millsite Daisy Fly Box made in Howell, Michigan. And this is a little rusty. That can be cleaned up. And then, and then this thing spins around. There's a big container here. And then a bunch of little containers. And this is kind of snaps down. And then you can, if you're out wading or whatever, you can clip that onto your, onto your waders or your suspenders and have your tackle right there on hand. Might be good for my kayak. And then we've got some some dry float maybe something something aquamates uh, probably polarized <laughs> sunglasses go out there looking like Sophia Loren and those monsters um, and we've got some some actual old hooks hooks them holds them hurricane snelled hooks um, got a bag of lead more old lead 
got uh, some more finest quality hooks from Bob's Fly Tying Company. There's a few still left on there, getting pretty rusty, but the paperwork's kind of cool. Got a uh, bear paw snelled hooks, and one left in there, size 4. I have no idea what this thing is. I don't know if that was for some, I don't know if it's some kind of a tag or license holder, or what, it's got one monster of a, of a, uh, pin on there and and then there's some western spin line 10 pound 100 yard braided monofilament hot stretch and a wrench and there was also a uh, a tool in there, a, a real repair and service tool I already took out and put with my tools. But uh, I don't know what was going on with the $15 price tag. Maybe somebody just needed to move some stuff. But that was a deal that I could not pass up. Because I know these Umco boxes are pretty desirable. And I kind of like it. I kind of like that old aluminum Umco box. I might, I'm probably going to clean this up and polish this up. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll use it or maybe I'll just use it as a display for the old lures that I happen across. So uh, a little different today, but uh, I kind of like seeing videos when people show their finds and kind of go through them. Uh, as they open it up so I thought you might too so that's all for today hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching